Hey guys, it's Cassie and today we are going to be talking about one thing and one thing only and that thing is Fendace. Rumours circulated last week that Fendi and Versace were going to do a collaboration show to close Milan Fashion Week. Last night it happened. This was a majestic magical moment for me. As you know, I have dressed I dressed appropriately today because I am a very big Versace fan and I love me some Fendi and I love me a bit of Kim Jones, all right? So this was everything I've ever needed. We're gonna be going into all of the looks today, the pieces that are just like stand out, if you want something from this collection, the ones to go for. We have no idea when this is gonna drop. I'm assuming because it was presented with spring summer 2022 that we're probably going to see it around February next year, <laughs> just in time for my birthday, um, but we don't know. I will keep you updated on this channel as we learn more, but I want to give some background on the whole show and what to expect and everything and then we're gonna go through it. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Are you ready? Let's go. This collection is actually not technically meant to be called a collaboration. What it is, is Donatella has done a small collection for Fendi and Kim Jones and Sylvia Fendi have done a collection for Versace. Just know that they're calling it the Versace Fendi swap and not technically a collaboration. Obviously, we've just seen Balenciaga and Gucci do something similar except they're calling it a hack. All of the brands are so different that you can't, you really can't compare. Is it the same concept? Yes, but the designs and everything else, this is two very different worlds. Both, both collections, we're gonna be talking about it as one collection here, leans very Versace. Versace tends to have more well-known iconic emblems and things. The safety pin, the Medusa, the Baroque prints, the silhouettes, you know, the OG supermodels, all of this business. Fendi tends to have, you've got the Fendi logo, but Fendi has the accessories that Versace doesn't necessarily tend to have. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to think that this is tacky, and honestly it's only tacky if you don't know how to style. That's all I'm saying, that's all I'm saying. It's going to be a lot. If you don't like loud and you don't like in your face and over the top, you're gonna hate this. If you're a minimalist, don't even bother leaving a comment saying that you don't like it because it's obvious, okay? If you don't like Versace, you're not gonna like this collection. End of, all right? So rein in your sodding comments. Now, the other thing that I would highly suggest you do is watch the show because the transition between the Fendi for Versace and Versace for Fendi is just like, oh, I had sudden goosebumps and then Drake Too Sexy was playing and I was like, certified lover boy, what? And then the thing sudden shifted and I loved every second of it. Just to say, not everything was a hit, all right? I'm not gonna absolutely like jump for joy over everything. And to be honest with you, it's for the best because I can't have everything. And it truly, if I loved everything of this, then this is all, this is all going downhill. Starting off here, very Versace, black dress kind of cut out, being held together by those very iconic safety pins. But the details here, okay? So like if you look at the safety pin, it's got the Versace Medusa at the top of it and then the Fendi FFs in the middle. On the necklace here, costume jewelry wise, this necklace was used a lot in this half of the collection. We've got the Fendi FFs merged into the Versace Greek key. Okay, here, the outfit, not really doing it for me, but let's zoom into the sodding bag. We have an all gold, what seems to be baguette. Stop, the collaboration baguettes in this. My heart cannot handle it. Neither can my bank account, but my heart mainly. The bank account, we can, we can sort it out, you know? <laughs> this is a lot, this probably isn't gonna be the one that I'm going to go for, but I just want to talk about the details. Down the side again, you've got those paper clips going down. Paper clips, safety pins, Cassie. Gold chain, gold, this is high voltage, this is opulence, this is over the sodding top. Is that you don't have to do the head to toe moment like these are styled, by the way they're styling for the show, excellent. But you don't have to do a head to toe, all of the sodding, um, Versace, FF prints and all of that. 
it's that you take a statement piece and then you style it with something very neutral very simple the greek key straps on the dress everything else is black lace stunning safety pin earrings again we're seeing that baguette but in black we've also got a little a little uh crystal neckerchief um uh necklace slash choker i personally wouldn't i don't see me being able to style this for anything really but you know do do you right draw attention we've got a peekaboo but we've got a peekaboo all gold gold chain gold top handle all of this love that this sodding jacket i don't even know what it's made out of i couldn't tell you i have no idea is that leather i don't know i don't know but that is simply one of the most most gorgeous things i've ever laid eyes on in my entire life okay <gasps> I mean, you could just wear that by itself. Honestly, go naked and nobody's going to be looking anyway because everybody's going to be looking at your absolutely incredibly stunning jacket. I will be going into more detail on the shoes later, okay? So stick with me. Now, I can't even tell you this jacket. It's all sequined. It's glorious. It's just that there's a, there's a baguette to match that is also all sequined. I can't, I can't contain myself. We've got a... Um, is it a bodysuit? Is it a bathing suit underneath? To be, I can't tell. Can't tell. Let's move on from it. But there's also gloves. If you're a glove person, I don't know. I'm not, but whatever. Um, this jacket is, it's one of those like pieces that a fabulous octogenarian who lives in her like Upper East Side penthouse apartment, just like casually has hanging in her closet. And then you're like, oh my gosh, grandma, what about this? Oh yeah, that, that, that was from the Fend Fendace collection years ago. Oh, take it, take it, wear it to your bra and blah, blah, blah. Like that gives me those vibes, very specific vibes uh, <laughs> that I've just tried to communicate. Let me know if you understand what I'm talking about. But it's one of those, it's like, oh, I don't, I can't. Okay, that looks like a towel. It looks like a towel that you, very fabulous towel that, you know, you've just had a, a shower and you wrap around yourself and then inevitably a couple of minutes later it descends and then you're just like, why even bother? And you're standing by the sink naked, looking at yourself in the mirror, staring deep into your soul. Just me? Okay. If you can't tell, I'm really focused on two things in this collection. The bags, the sodden jackets. This jacket, I love where it hits on the body. I love the fact that the arms are cropped. This again is all sequins. This is going to be far out of my price range. This is going to be close to 10,000. This is, I can't, I can't string a sentence together because I am absolutely in love with it. But another thing that I want to say that will be a bit more of an approachable price point from this collection, if you want, if you want something, you go on holiday, you live in a hot place, you go to the beach, you go swimming, whatever, the swimsuits, okay? Again, you've got that Baroque, you've got the Fendi FFs in the background, you've got the merging of the two, you've got something from the collection. Fendi swimsuits are about, Fendi and Versace, about the same swimsuit. Swimsuit wise, you're gonna look at around, I reckon three, 400 pounds. We're, we're talking luxury here, none of it's gonna be cheap, you know? Preciously, um, I'm gonna show you her bag in detail. Once we've gone through the looks, I have some of the pictures of the things in detail, okay? And I, and I, and I wanna go through those. This dress, I mean, it's a fine dress, nothing to really write home about. Again, nice mixture of the shoe. Um, it's giving me thrice divorcee, mafia links. Great jacket there, which is, you know, a little bit of a non, it's basically like the non-sequined version of the other jacket. Love, love, love. Again, four-time divorcee. She, she's one-upped from the last one. Definite mafia vibes. Scariest mother at the parent-teacher conference. There we go. Now, another thing with this collection is there are a few pieces that say Fendace. Now, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this. I'm not particularly mad about it, but I don't think I'm over the moon in love with it either. I don't think that I would personally pick the pieces that say Fendace as the pieces that I want. I mean, it's a nice dress. She's giving us a Greek goddess. And now we have the Fendi first. I have the Fendi first on my wish. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna buy any bags until this collection comes out because I need, I need a piece from this collection. I need a bag from this collection, 100%. So we have a gold and silver Fendi first bag with the Baroque in there. It's a, it's a new Fendi shape. 
with the Versace influence, I'm over the sodden moon. Um, everything else is all light and boring in this outfit. I'm sorry, could you just imagine if you were just, you know, being your normal self, reclining by the pool, and this woman walked past in this look? I would be like, step on my body. Like, R what? Stop. The jacket the sudden switch i mean you know you don't have to wear it like this but i am just obsessed the bag as well we have the fendi sunshine tote i believe fendi pink ffs in the background gold versace baroque she's here she's bringing it to the beach absolutely glorious this this can go home okay this is um a lot of unnecessary lace. I, I don't know what that is. Can either of it be saved? Possibly the bag. It's a push and even then I'm all right. So that's a no. The dress is here. Nice, elegant, timeless, all of that business. Do you want something that, you know, is very subtly from this show, but not like loud and in your face and fendace? Then go for something like this, you know? But me, I'm interested in this white jacket. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it. It's just everything I sodding love, okay? And I'm sorry, but I like what I like. And this, oh my gosh, it's like a robe. It's like a glorious robe. I love it, I love both. I just, sugar daddies, apply within. I, I, what? So that part was the Fendi designing for Versace. Now we have Donatella designing for Fendi. And let me tell you a little something about this trench. They should have shown the back of it, but we haven't been blessed with such good quality pictures yet. Um, the back of this trench has a massive gold crystal Medusa head. <laughs> oh gosh. Here we have again, Fendi tote, similar thing, gold Medusa head there, glinting at us in the sodden sun. It's not subtle, is it? It's just like, here I am, and this is a Fendarche collab, and enjoy it, you know? Um, I hate the pink handles. Don't know why the handles had to be pink. They could have just been black or the same colour as the Fendi FFs and whatever. They could have even been gold. The pink seems very random for me. Boots, Fendi FFs, gold Medusa there on the on the front of the foot there. Nice. Um, I think I think the girls are going to go a little bit wild for the boots. I think they're going to do very well. This woman right here looks like every sort of mean girl in every 90s chick flick and I, I kind of love it. The other thing here to note is that uh, this guy is carrying a sparkly Fendi tumbler. I think there's also a Medusa on there somehow. Styling here was a bit much. I think we could all agree there. But nevertheless, yeah, nothing really here that's, again, I feel like there's too much happening on this particular bag, right? But bear with me. <sighs> it's loud. It's loud, it's in your face, and it is still fabulous. Um, again, she has a crystal tumbler there, glorious. We've got sort of pastel, multicolour FFs. You can see that we're leaning a little bit more Fendi here, but it's still very Versace looking, right? Now, another thing here, good shoes. We have a very classic, I hope that the square toe is not that square, okay? Because I wouldn't mind these. We've got a mule, very classic Versace mule. Um, and then in the middle band, you've got a Medusa, but here you also seem to have crystal FFs all over it. What is there not to love, truly? She's had, she's had a tumultuary, like she's had a night out. I think that we can all agree on that. But this bag is a crystal baguette. Again here, like this is straight out of stop. Love actually, you know, right at the end or like when that English guy goes to America and like he's just there to pick up American girls and they walk into the bar. Like I swear one of them is wearing this. Also half the models were in like Donatella wigs. <clears throat> Iconic. This jumper I really like. Okay, so we have an FF Fendi jumper there, but then you've got like little cutouts held together by Versace safety pins. See, I like that. Very similar moment to the Fendi for Versace. It's very complicated. Like pink Baroque situation that they were doing. Similar thing here, but they're doing it with blue. This whole look, this whole head to toe. You know, you know I love this kind of stuff. You know I love a Versace shirt. Case in point, all right? But this with the matching silk trousers, imagine. You are just sitting in a hotel lobby. The glass door's open. This woman walks in with her sodding. Have you seen this tote as well? This tote's really nice. She walks in with this tote and she walks straight to the reception desk to check in. Probably not. She probably has somebody to do that for her. But honest, my heart would drop straight through my anus. This woman is everything I want to be. 
absolutely stunning immaculate everything i love the blues i love the fendi ffs there we have the fendi ffs in blue and in the brown and the gold uh they've got a few of these hats going again you want something uh, approachable price point from the collection but you want a piece of the collection uh the hat's a good one if you're a hat person i sadly am not i can't even see the full impact of this jacket but i know i love it i love that do you see do you see the styling of this do you see how it's all black this the jacket does the talking but then the accessories also match the jacket and it somehow doesn't look like too much again more subtle pieces to get from this collection this top simple black top really nice kind of gathered detail there but then again you've got those little effendi ffs with the versace greek key happening you know on the on the straps there for a little bit of something like i want to see this in a club like i want to be in like a baller club and a girl walks in wearing this she looks sodding fabulous have you seen this trim have you seen this baroque trim on this like chainmail situation <gasps> here we have an all black moment what's happening on the jacket not necessarily a fan but we've got a black peekaboo mm -hmm. a black peekaboo but the inside has all of the print again do you want something subtle you're like i love a little bit but i don't want to be too loud hello this dress was fabulous wasn't it and then this was a very very like og supermodels versace look at that look at that with the ffs in the chain mail and the crystals stop there's a little nano baguette there all crystal oh, be still my beating heart the shoes as well mm. oh i'm gonna be so broke but i'm gonna love it oh my gosh three strap crystals pink i hope there's nothing weird happening at the heel because otherwise they need to be mine blue shoes blue chain mail with this sodic oh i can't and then of course the show closed with queen naomi campbell um and she was really rocking it she was really rocking it she strutted down there what a sodding show i've got some in detail pictures okay of the bags and things so here we have that all, all gold bag right back there do we see how the fendi ff baguette has the safety pin across it i love that oh and then you've got the safety pins down okay um okay so the shoes for the first half of the show the fendi for versace not a fan they were doing the fendi first kind of heel situation but it had a point and i just i just didn't really it's just not for me shoe design wise here we have the bag in a little bit more detail it's padded and it's fabric and i sodding love it spotted something else while editing look in the background at the pink fendi first there is so much more to come from this collection that we haven't even seen is this not very me it is i'll answer that for you it is we've got the fendi ff you've got the baroque on top it's got this sudden twilly bow happening on the strap there i don't care i love it okay and it is it's everything and right in the in the fendi there if you look very very closely there's a tiny medusa just right in the middle in the middle like, i simply have to have a baguette from this collection i cannot not Here's a close-up of one of the nano baguettes. You've got that chunky chain with the FF and the Greek key, and then you've got this little thing with the safety pin on top, and then look, you've got an all-crystal version. This is going to be really heavy, considering it's a tiny little thing. <laughs> look at that sodding jacket again. Look at this gold peekaboo. Stunning. Glorious. Magnificent, some may say. I say. Here we have another one, it's a white version, similar thing, same thing as the last one that I'm in love with that I need and is top of my wish list. Here we have another louder peekaboo. I'm like, louder. No, it's loud, Cassie. It's loud, full stop. Not louder, it's loud. Oh, by the way, I wanted to include this. So, Alicia Keys and her husband Swiss Beats, they were at the show. Look at this head to toe moment. This was at the back of the trench, you know, I told you. Close up of these shoes that were the Vers Fendi for Versace side, the Fendi first shoe, like I said, with that heel and then this thing. I don't know, it's just not hitting like the shoes in the second half of the show, but that's just me. I have no idea how they're going to do it if you can buy the full collection from each. What I think is going to happen, that they're going to do the Fendi for Versace to buy at Versace and the Versace for Fendi to buy at Fendi. So, I don't know about you, but my action plan is, I have my wonderful essay at Versace. She already knows I'm interested, okay? As soon as I saw the show, I was like, 
girl you know <laughs> now i need to work on getting an essay at fendi because i need to cover all bases just in case but we must be prepared let me know what you thought about fendace guys i'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father if you like it tell your friends if you don't keep your mouth shut and i will see you in my next video Mwah. bye guys